Sicilian defense, delayed Alapin variation, 3, NF6. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. White played better than Black in the opening, but it was sloppy. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The C pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the D4 square. NF3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on D4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on D4. When black eventually plays NF6, white is prevented from moving the piece to E5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on D6. C3 prepares the D4 pawn push and allows the queen to develop on the queen's side. NF6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed E4 pawn. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. It is the final book action. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is quite good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is a mistake. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a better way to connect rooks. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse maneuvers but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. That's good. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to offer an equal exchange of goods. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to a bishop who is confined. It is ideal. This makes it impossible for the adversary to assault a trapped bishop. It is ideal. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. This misses the chance to offer an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is good. 
This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a rook. It is a great move. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. Although white is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. This misses a fantastic but elusive move. That falls flat. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is ideal. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. This wins a pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is quite good. That was a free bishop. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. White played better than black in the opening, but it was sloppy. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 